Hi guys, this is Doc Mitch. Today, I'm going to teach you how to compute for your fertile period. Okay, you asked me, why do I need to compute for my fertile period, Doc? What is the significance of that? Why is it important in my life? Okay, let me tell you now. For those of you who do want to get pregnant, knowing your fertile period will now be able to help you identify the those days that have a higher likelihood of getting pregnant. Okay, and for those of you who don't want to get pregnant or who don't want to get pregnant again, at least not in the near future, knowing your fertile period will help you now identify the days to avoid in order not to get pregnant. Okay, clear? Simple as that. So now that you know that it's important, let's get on with the discussion. Okay, so before I make you use your calculators in computing for your fertile cycle or for your fertile period, let's first discuss what the normal menstrual cycle is. Okay, common mistake of patients is they come to our clinic, we ask for the last menstruation, they give us the last day. Okay, you want to get pregnant or you don't want to get pregnant, this is not the day you want to remember. Okay, the day you want to remember is the first day. And how do we define the first day? It's the first red flow that actually fills up at least half of a pad. It's not the brownish spotting. It's not the brownish discharge. It's not those little red spots. It's the first red flow. So remember that. Day one is the day that you need to remember very clearly, all right? Okay, next, how long does a menst normal menstruation usually last? Usually, it's about three to five days, maximum of seven days. Anything longer than that is abnormal. The normal um, consumption of pads is around two to three, maximum of four fully soaked, moderately to fully soaked pads, okay? And the normal interval between menses is 21 to 35 days. Hold on, Doc Mitch. Wait a minute. You, Let's go back to the normal duration. Three to five days, maximum of seven. How come mine is shorter? Okay. Um, you don't have to panic. You just need to remember that as we get older, our menstrual... Um, duration tends to get shorter so if you're older than you're 35 or, uh, or older chances are your menstrual cycle will be three um two to three days maximum of five so that's okay you don't need to panic you're not abnormal there's really nothing wrong with you all right okay so let's go let's continue the normal i again i will repeat the normal interval between the first day to the next first day is 21 to 35 days so as long as you're within that range you are regular you are normal okay so now let's go to counting the fertile days okay so what you need to do now is get your calendars where you mark your first days of menses and now i need you to identify all the first days i need you to backtrack at least three to six months and identify all the first days of those months okay and now count the days in between the the first day to the next first day to the next first day to the next first day and to the next first day all right okay are you doing that now okay i'll give you a little time all right so what you need to do again i will repeat backtrack three to six months identify the first days that you've jotted down and then write it down so, for, for example, it's August now, so you can actually count, uh, you can actually consider um, July, June, May, April, March, and February. Okay. All right, there. And then identify the first days or, of your menstrual cycle in those months. Now, count the days in between the dates, the different dates that you've identified. Okay? Example. My my usual cycle is 20, my shortest cycle is 24 days and my longest cycle is 34 days. So the common, that's the common range, okay. Alright, okay. So you got it. Now I need you to subtract 14. Now I need you first to identify the shortest cycle and then the longest cycle. Okay, have you identified it? Okay, once you've identified it, I need you to subtract 14 from the shortest cycle and 14 from the longest cycle. Why am I using the number 14? Because it is known that ovulation, from the time of ovulation to the next menses, is always 14 days. 
So by subtracting 14, we are able to identify the ovulation period. All right. So you've done that example again. As I've said earlier, my shortest cycle is 24 days. My longest cycle is 34 days. So if I subtract 14 from my shortest cycle, which is 24 days, that will get me 10. And then now I subtract 14 from my longest cycle, which is 34. And that will get me 20. So now I get 10 and 20. So from day 10 to day 20, that is my fertile period you've got it let's repeat that identify the first days of the last three to six months of your cycle get the number of days in between every first day and then identify now the shortest cycle and then the longest cycle and subtract 14 from both and that's how you get your fertile period okay all right so with that, thank you very much. I hope this was helpful. Bye. See you again.